what came in the mail. If you don't know what this is, I don't blame you, but the box looks so cool. It's a bomb! No, just kidding. Please don't demonetize me for terrorism. This is actually something that I got from Creo Cards. It's the Hermitcraft TCG cards that I ordered a while ago. It took a while to come, but they're finally here. I didn't order packs because those are so expensive. What I ordered, I ordered three cards and that's all that, ooh, wait, there's more that came than the three cards. I, I got three cards. Here they are, I should turn on my light so you can see it. Okay, here are the three cards. They're signed, except for the TFC one. Now, I had, I met Good Times with Scar recently at PAX. I had these personally sent to me by him. Just, you gotta believe me, we're best friends. All right, ignore the dog. So it looks like we got, join the Creo Discord. Do that if you want to. It might be a Rick roll. Please don't blame me if it is. Dear Hermitcraft Collector, we thank you for support on the Hermitcraft TCG Collector's Edition project. The quality of artists that ha we have been fortunate enough to work with has been nothing short of incredible, and I can't wait to hear what you think of the cards. And of course, thank you to the Hermits for their trust in the Creo team. You now own a piece of Hermitcraft history, Luke Chesney, founder of Creo. That is awesome. So, in case you didn't know, Hermitcraft TCG is a card game meant made in Minecraft, in Hermitcraft, by Vintage Beef, and um, they made it in real life, which is super cool, and it has super cool art, and so I picked out three Hermits that I watch the most out of all the Hermits. I got Grian, Scar, and TFC, and these two are signed. This one isn't, obviously, since TFC passed away, but let's take a look at the box for a second. So I think... I'm gonna, I need to put the camera somewhere. I need to open the plastic here. I'm gonna go. Let's see, is there the Aha! I found scissors. Yes, I am. I am good at preparing. Okay, so I'm gonna do a cool transition. I'm gonna put my phone down, and I'm gonna have a cool transition to where these are all cut. Smooth transition. I know I'm such a good editor. All right, so we're gonna take a, like a million years just like looking at the cool artwork on these boxes because I'm now a Californian family YouTuber that does unboxing videos every day. All right guys, let's look at this Lego set we got here. All right, so we got the Hermitcraft TCG logo. Let's put it in the light, obviously. We got Grumbot from season nine. Green's starter house right there. Let's see. Oh, that's his tent. That's his tent from the Buttercups thing with the prank war against Doc M. That's cool. And we also got the entity over there and then Green himself in his elytra flying overhead. That's a super cool box art. Now let's look at good times with scars. So we got in the center, obviously, his giant amazing castle. We got Main Street in Scarland. We got the statue of Scar himself and Jelly that Zombie Cleo made. We got the trolley. We got Adventureland back there. I think that's what it's called with the volcano. Fun fact, there's actually an amusement, a real life amusement park in Iowa called Adventureland. Pretty cool place. And then over here we got the, uh, the sci-fi land that Scar sadly wasn't able to finish. I think, Scar, if you're watching this, I think you should make a public server like just for Scarland, I think that would be cool. Of course, we got the tin foil chef. Oh, is there back art? No, there's no back art. Okay. You can see his pickaxe mine shaft with a mine rail, very TFC. They should have put in a frog for Sir Gorf, but you know, kind of an old reference. And then you can see he's got some diamonds, also some diamonds he didn't mine in the roof. Or maybe it's Lapis. We'll never know to this day. We'll never know. All right, so let's open them. I'm gonna start with Grian because that's the order we did it in. I'm gonna try to do this one hand with one hand. This is gonna be, I did not think this through. All right. Oh, I actually did it. There we go. We got ourselves a Grian and that is signed by Grian himself. We got Start a War, 
100 attack damage and borrow for 50. All right, so we, we had a little skip in time, like five minutes into the future, because my phone just ran out of memory. So, you know, I've been having a great time, but we've got that solution fixed. I deleted some old videos that I don't need anymore. We're finishing this ultra epic unboxing video, not clickbait. So awesome green card. We got the signature. It looks great. Very happy with it. So this is good times with scars. So let's open that. So here we are. Guys, my phone ran out of storage again. So I'm going to be using my iPad. All right. So this is good times with scars card. Super cool. This is the second time I've actually got scars signature. I got one at PAX. Anyway, so we got Scarred for Life with 50 damage and Death Loop with 70. Very fitting moves for Scar. So those are our first two cards and let's move on to our final one. TFC, the true hermit himself. Look at that, TFC in all his glory. This light is way, this light is completely in the way. Okay, let's, there, there that's like a lot better. Awesome. So we see TFC. He's got the big beard, just like he does in real life. Tinfoil Chef. True Hermit, 40, and Branch Mine, 80. Those are really good moves for him. Yeah, so here are my three cards. I can't zoom out on an iPad video for whatever reason. So these cards are super, super cool. Was it worth $90 for all three of them? Totally, totally, yes. But I am a big fan of Hermitcraft, so it's worth it to me. The light is super annoying. So, thanks to the Hermits for signing all these cards. Thanks for Creo for making these. And also to the amazing artists. So, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Isaac. And exit stage right.